water signs pisces cancer scorpio welcome back to the channel with me tony with another channel tarot card message for you today let's get into your reading shall we we're using the gold universal tarot to see what spirit has to say in regards to your current energies the energies coming towards you what's the therapeutic session what spirit wants you to know right like share subscribe add value to the channel so we continue to grow and don't forget to watch your other readings for your moon rising venus and north node placement as well get more insight on what's going on at this time all right hopefully you're having a good day spending the last few minutes of the magic hour out on the beach it's been pretty perfect today if i don't say so myself or if i do say so myself yeah the moon's out right now over the water for the pisces i think it's owed to you some water not sure if you can see the moon several ships out right now but yeah the moon is out anyways let's get into your reading shall we one 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 coming up on the clock let's see what we can do for the water signs today pisces cancer scorpio all right try to change something up a little bit right you know you got to stay hydrated your boy went out and got some some friggin lip gloss um sorry lip balm <laughs> lip balm <laughs> what do they call this stuff yeah so i'm trying to keep my lips moisturized man this this uh salt water definitely <laughs> have you looking crazy out here i even had to break out the crystals i'm like let me make sure i keep my energy clear it'd be too many people out here i gotta keep my acidian uh or my black tourmaline to a ward off whatever insidious energies are out there and my favorite uh crystal the master crystal here clear quartz right two good crystals to have while trying to stay moisturized and level-headed <laughs> but let's get into your message oh we got ace of wands showing up for you mm -hmm. jumpers here for the water signs all right let's prime the, prime the energies a few more times see what the cardomancy wants to say Carl Mancy's like, shut up. <laughs> Get to the reading. Timing is everything, right? All right, well, let's get to it. Grounding your reading today, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. We have the Lover's card. Gemini, isn't that interesting, right? Communication. A connection. This could be a soulmate energy. Mm -hmm. Now, the interesting part, look what cards jumped out. All major arcana. Well, the Ace of Wands... <laughs> The ace, the ace is almost seems like, uh, cause it's pure energy, right? It's like, it's like before anything happens, this is the pure essence of uh, what could be done with this energy, right? Right? Like the ace of swords is a new thought process. The ace of pentacles is a new opportunity for finances, right? The ace of cups is like um, new love coming towards you, and then the right, uh, the ace of wands, I guess, would be like a. Uh, um, getting a new burst of energy a passion to do something with it right usually usually something physical right like an adventure or sex but speaking of yeah sex passion some sort of a creativity now this could be travel because the two major arcana sagittarius would be travel right in the world card so this could be expansion or closing out some sort of a cycle this could even be marriage coming towards someone a lot of sex passions this could possibly a possibly be possibly <laughs> it's a honeymoon or something like that the center of attention here with the leo card strong self-love mm -hmm. strong desire strong confidence that um that uh infinity sign reminds me of an equal equal give and take yeah sex right <laughs> equal give and take let's see here yeah, one of my sex cards now this also is known as uh travel movement or communication um uh, but again when they uh turn into this you turn an eight to its side it's just like this eight right so someone has uh they think very highly of themselves or a lot of people think very highly of you and they're headed towards you with this ace of wands three of cups yeah exactly they're wanting to befriend you they're wanting to join forces with you they're wanting to uh, excite, ignite, or incite you here. Okay. 
incite that would be like inciting something right a party excite right is someone being excited and what's the other one ignite i guess here with this wand or this candle someone could be forming a ritual work sex magic being naked very confident this is probably something that they were passed down through their bloodline the thing is everyone loves to read about magic and everyone loves to go to the movies and see magic unfold in a hollywood production but real magic people are afraid of right <laughs> you want to know what's magic what's inside those vaccines that those doctors gave you guys a year two years ago that's a concoction right when we see a witch brewing a pot of something right we would call that a concoction right most vaccines are concoctions do you know what a vaccine is it is a dead form of the virus they're trying to prevent from get it from attacking you right <laughs> now they tell you uh and this is well known through veganism even a vegan that throw this up in your face or a vegetarian you know you're eating dead meat you're d you're eating dead animal meat <laughs> right how how long does a flower or a plant stay alive before we uh pull its roots out of the ground or whatever the case may be right that's where we get uh ripe and unripened fruit but again it's all magics baby do you even know what's going on around do you even know what's going on in the world around you right you have to be well known very uh, well learned or very well traveled man this this shadow retrograde energies is kicking my ass right now man <laughs> either that or we have a strong love connection coming towards someone that's leaving leaving someone speechless here or you're wowing the crowd here yeah a comedian could be a singer or a dancer right the microphone in their hand this is how passionate they are we have very passionate singers right very passionate dancers right <laughs> very strong communicators uh even for intuitives and empaths right um when we talk about uh again going back to an oracle right they were typically virgins and once they have sex they lose a power the idea is the more just like a woman the more men she has sex with the less she's able to pair bond right <laughs> so it's the same thing the more an oracle or a virgin has sex the more unpure they become right they're no longer a pure sacrifice they can no longer they can no longer channel the divine because they're distracted by attachments and love thoughts right heartbreak right uh, mental illness and all that sort of thing right Two of Cups on top of the world card. So someone wants to come towards you. Okay, Pisces. Uh, you're wooing someone or someone's trying to woo you here. <laughs> this could be at a distance here. Love, communication, sex, passions. Yeah, they're traveling towards you with horsepower here. They're having something to prove. Wanting to get this sexual chip off their shoulder. They could... Uh, yeah, they could be some sort of an athlete or an entertainer. Possibly an actor here. Yeah, they, have, they want... They got a lot to say to you here. Definitely um, wanting to communicate with you here. Six of Wands. Damn. All these horses. Sheesh. We had the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and then the Six of Wands. Some people say that burps are confirmations. I'm still stuck on the scratch your nose thing. Like, once your nose starts dripping, it means you're highly clairvoyant, right? I guess spirit is air and it travels through your nose, right? Your nose becomes sensitive at that point. But we have, uh, yeah, someone wanting to come towards you with confidence, wanting to give you this 15 minutes of fame, wanting to give you this ace of wands energy. <laughs> they wanted to give you this knight of wands, uh, knight of swords energy. Oh my God, this is, uh, this is a, not embarrassing. It's actually quite intriguing here. Yeah, someone's manifesting this here. Yeah, this is some form of a sex magic. Mm -hmm. The magician's showing up. Manifesting one's abundance. Manifesting one's happiness through strength of will. Mm -hmm. Which would be why the Leo showing up in strength. Mm -hmm. Nine of swords. Mm -hmm. Again, we could be dealing with um, someone not being able to get something off of their mind. It could be sex. Right? Don't let this turn into a form of mental illness or addiction. Right? This is to be um, mental anguish here. Yeah, someone's wanting to make a deep connection or they haven't had a deep connection in a long time. Uh, let's see. Justice. Mm -hmm. Business coming towards you. Some sort of a personal relationship. A court decision. Right? 
systems, rules, regulations, that sort of thing. Could be dealing with a judge. But that is 11, right? Which would be a doorway. Could be dealing with a soulmate here. What was grounding this reading again? Yeah, the soulmate, twin flame union here. Or a high caliber lover here. I know we throw around those titles so much, but hey, it's just like colors, right? We throw around the word blue and pink all the time. We throw around the, <laughs> the words chicken and fish all the time. So if there's a word for it, I'm going to use it, right? Definitely have a, um, a strong connection coming towards you, though. Someone wants to be in a, a strong commitment or relationship with you here. This could be marriage. Yeah, they're manifesting this, right? This is a strategy that they have coming towards you. They're wanting this deep from within themselves, the seven. Something that they've probably been dreaming about since childhood. Yeah, they were uh, developed in some sort of way. If it's an innate talent or skill or ability, it's something that they were born with or something that was instilled in them. And then the last card is the six of wands, right? This is what they're wanting from you. Three of cups, six of wands, queen of wands, wanting to get that queen of wands energy out on someone, right? A wife is supposed to be a whore, they would say. I'm learning now. <laughs> She's only supposed to be that way for her husband. Or like our relationships, pretty much. I mean, people are going to do what they do anyways, right? Like, why does it even need, like, people, they have that much of no integrity. Like, you have, it takes 50 years of you to learn how to carry yourself. Like, even me, I, I wanted to lose my virginity to another virgin, right? But, again, when I tell this story... <laughs> There were no 16-year-old virgins or 18-year-old virgins or 19-year-old virgins when I wanted to lose my virginity. A lot of these women were whoring themselves out. And again, these same women, when they reached their late 20s, right, or their early 30s, who's going to want to be with you? <laughs> like, no. Everyone's able to, um, everyone gets a chance to be accountable uh, to themselves at the end of the day, right? I'm a man with less than 10 body counts right i'm that way for a reason right i have integrity i have standards i want to be able to connect with women i don't treat women just any kind of way yeah i've had sexual um encounters even midway recently but it's just like there's some things i save till marriage right like mm, i've had a nice uh past two years right i don't need any distractions right need that real thing because that uh, seven year, eight year stuff, <laughs> that's uh, what's the waste of time. Major Arcanas. Strong connection here. It could, this relationship could teach you a lot as well. A lot of manifesting here. A lot of strong desires and passions. There's a lot of sex in this situation here. Gemini here, the lovers, the soulmate, twin flame. Uh, and then we have another air sign, uh, Libra here. And then we have, who was this? Uh, yeah, Gemini again. Mm -hmm. So strong air signs. Could be dealing with a Libra or Gemini. Aries shows up. We have Leo and Sagittarius showing up in the strength. So strong air and fire sign energies um, in this, uh, coming out of these major arcanas. This soulmate union here that you're having. More passions. A lot of sex, a lot of create creativity, or a lot of creation here. A lot of traveling. You have more high court cards. <laughs> Someone is wanting to travel towards you. They're coming towards you really quick here. Mm -hmm. Or at least they're wanting to. They're wanting to communicate their passions towards you as well. They could be writing you some sort of a sexy note or a sexy book. Or this could be what someone's in the middle of doing. They're having a creative uh, inspiration, a spark. And they're, um, it's almost like when uh, Tariq Nashi wrote that one book um, out of his teenage years. Or was, it, was he out of college, right? Um, we see it all the time. These models and these video vixens write books like that that are lackluster. But someone is having a passionate, inspirational moment right now. And they're, um, they're wanting to get a message across. The remaining high court cards here is the Queen of Wands and the King of Cups, right? Mixing and matching fire and water, right? A lot of creative, intuitive gifts here. Yeah. A lot of 
healing sex here. But this is a strong performance artist as well. They're able to go from one end to another to the other end. Like I always say about myself, I can go from zero to sixty or from sixty to zero, depending how huh, I want to get turned up. Now we have the two of cups and the three of cups. Again, someone definitely wanting to mix their juices with you. Wanted to get into some sort of an entanglement, literally a marriage or some sort of a long uh, soulmate connection. I see longevity in here. Traveling with you as well. Wanting to be your together person. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, right? Uh, entertainment, fanfare. Seven, strategy, right? This could also be someone. Um, okay, so. The person, uh, whoever this is, they're wanting to watch your back here, right? They're wanting to keep you grounded, keep you stable, keep you sure of yourself, keep you inspired here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Strong soulmate connection here. Relationship, marriage, a union. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's what I have for you here. Pisces, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, yeah, the most... Um, Empathic signs of the zodiac, the water signs, yeah. <laughs> Someone wanting to keep you guys emotionally ground, stable. <laughs> All right, maybe you're teaching someone uh, emotional intelligence through relationships. But that's what I have for you here today. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.